Okay, so you've got your new Ansel, you've got it set up, you've taken it out of the box, plugged her in, powered it up, and you've tried to activate in Anthill, or maybe you've been successful there. In either case, let's say you're not, you're getting a can't find your Ansel in Anthill. So one of the problems might be that your root password is not correct, or you're not entering it correctly. So we can test this uh, by just connecting to our Ansel on our local network. So first we want to be connected to the same network as our Ansel, uh, the same local network. Uh, it is advertising a dot .local name. Uh, if it's brand new, it will be myansel.local. Uh, we show that in the docs here. Uh, it's actually, it says my Ansel name because you can change the name of your Ansel. So I'm going to open up a browser here and I'm going to enter the name of my browser, my Ansel, which is HTTP forward slash forward slash Shazam dot local. So the name of my Ansel is Shazam, and that brings me to the login screen. Okay, here the username is root, and then enter your password, and then try and log in. Okay, in my case, of course, I can log in, so I'm good. Uh, I hope you are too. Another way you can test uh, is with SSH. If you are on Windows, you can use PuTTY. Let me bring this in. So here in PuTTY, I'm going to use shazam.local. So the host name, I'm using shazam.local. And the port number is 22. So let's open that. And there we go. I can enter my password. I should have shortened it for this uh, video. Okay, so that worked. Uh, if you're on Mac or Linux, you can just open your terminal. Uh, I'll use git bash here as an example. So from here, the command would be ssh, root is our user, at, and in my case is shazam.local. If yours is brand new, it will be my ansel.local. So let me put in shazam because that's what I need to use. Shazam.local. And then I should get a prompt. There it is for my password. Okay, and we're in. Okay, one final way. If for some reason you cannot connect with uh, myansel.local, with the .local domain name, you can connect a keyboard and monitor, and it should look, your screen should look something like this here, with just a simple login prompt. And here we can put in the username root, and of course the password again. So this is all about verifying that the password is working, okay? Um, if you do log in, or let's say you can't log in, again, contact support at ansel.com, and we can help verify that root password. If you've had your Ansel for a while, and you've already changed your root password, uh, we can't help with verifying that password, but we can help you with recovering that. Okay, uh, let's see. In the next, if you can log in, but Ant Hill is giving you a can't find Ansel. It's probably because your Ansel can't communicate with the public internet. So in the next video, we'll talk about troubleshooting that once we're connected to the Ansel. All right, thanks for watching.